Hey, it's Guillermo here. Thank you so much for coming out and watching this video a lot. In this video, I'm going to share with you 20, 20 local marketing strategies that would improve any, any business, including your local agency. This is a document that I'm giving you access to. Just click on the link down below in the description, fill out this short little form, and you're going to get access to this. No cost at all. This is just for me to you, okay? Now, I want to let you know as well that you can share this document. Obviously, not my banner and anything like that, but uh, all the content below, you can share this with your current clients if you want, and your, pros your current prospects that you're looking to close or whatever. You can absolutely share any information here. Just change the language. This is my language. This is how I type and sell things and write things or whatever. So you obviously want to make sure that you, you know, whatever you take from here, you take it, you rewrite it however, you know, works for you. Now on this document, this is for you exclusively to know, I'm going to be stretching out how I do my video logs. Originally, I said I would go Thursday, Friday and Sunday, but I'm going to go and give you two a day. So I'm going to do Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Sunday. I'm going to give you two video logs a day covering a variety of different topics, local marketing, digital marketing, uh, strat strategies, uh, platforms, and, and so much more, even some motivational stuff and health stuff as well. So I'm going to be just, just expanding just a bit more, giving you a bit more, okay? Now, I know you're looking at this banner, all right? Um, so I formed a group. The group is called Base Bases and Exchange Group, where we're going to be bringing a bunch of people together. We're going to be talking about coaches, spiritual leaders, um, guys who are in the local marketing space, digital marketing space. They focus on a variety of different areas and in exchange, we're just going to be helping each other. So this isn't like one of those funky kind of groups or whatever. This group is exclusively for those who are just seeking a bit more help in certain areas. And in exchange, you can help that person and they can help you. And just that's how you build relationships in the space. So finally, I'm creating that. Um, this is going to be my official group. I've always envisioned creating something like this. And now finally, I have it and I'm making it exclusively um, accessible to you. So you can access it right now via the document. OK. Now let's move on. Let's go. Let's get right into the juices. I'm excited for this because, you know, local market is local marketing is my thing. I've been doing this thing for many years now since about 07 and um, been able to help a lot of people in the space get the job done. So I don't know everything. You know, these are just my experiences that I'm sharing with you. So let's dive right into it. And this document right at the top, you'll see that I have written 85 percent of business owners depend on word of mouth referrals. OK, and you could read more about that right on the doc. And this is a, a report that was done by Small Business Trends. So I don't want you to think that I'm making anything up here. Like when you see a business, that's you're just looking at a business. When you see a pop up, a, you know, brick and mortar, whatever, an office, you're just you, from our eyes, we just see the business. But in the background, there's just so much going on. And the reality is, is that a lot of these businesses are out there networking. OK, so in, in essence, it takes a, a whole clan of people a group of people to be able to move everything forward so by having referrals um you it's just an easier route to get more business but before you can get those referrals you got to go out there and you got to start networking and I'll, I'll talk about that a little later so you can check out this document i'm just going to just go by it briefly first and foremost is communities okay Communities, getting involved in local events, charities, and perhaps donating some of your time. Um, a good example is Mrs. Mata. She's now part of my board of communication, so you may see her in the base group communicating. She's awesome. She's incredible, doing some crazy, incredible things in the nonprofit world. And you know, something that she's done is that she donates a lot of her time, and she's gotten picked up by the by news media outlets like Fox and. She's, she's, she's blowing up little by little, but it's because she's donating a lot of her time. She's at local events and she's constantly networking. And it shouldn't be no different for people like us in the digital world. I know we're behind the computer all day, so this is kind of like what we see every day is just a computer, but we gotta step out the box sometimes and we gotta go out there and shake some hands, okay? Um, claiming your Google business listing as a local consultant is just as important as any local business that you have your Google listing claimed as well so that people can find you locally. Uh, local SEO campaigns as well. And again, you could read all this stuff in detail when you just get access to the, lock, the doc in the description. But local SEO still does work to this day. Again, it's all about those local keywords and regularly updating the content on your blog. Blogs are the way to go when it comes to local SEO. 
and even videos as well, like creating YouTube videos like this, optimizing your titles, making it so it's uh, local, um, as local as possible in your neighborhood, in your town, you can absolutely do that. Um, local business uh, con local business contacts, okay? Partnering with local businesses, especially those in similar or complementary industries, okay? That's a great way for you to not only expand your network, but through that, get referrals as well, okay? And again, you can share a lot of this stuff with your current prospects or clients that you currently have. These are all, this is not, this is like beyond strategies. These are the ways to get business, okay? Real business. Then you have loyalty programs. You can create special offers and discounts for local customers only. Um, it's a great way to spread the love for sure. Um, bring your team into your referral plan. Who better act as an advocate for your brand than your dedicated staff? Offer a bonus um, to staff and in, in reference and basically the, for you to, to slow down a little bit, you doing that, uh, what you're doing is you're making it that process even easier. So if you have employees, let's say like even your like your outsourcing staff or whatever, you can just have them, you can give them a cut of something. In essence, they're giving you referrals in, in essence, right? Like they're giving you more referrals, but you gotta be able to help them out, however that is, okay? Um, engage your current customers and potential prospects on social media, okay? Um, one of the biggest ones that stands out to me right now is Instagram. Instagram is huge right now. And what you can do on Instagram is geotagging. If you don't know what that is, definitely ask me in the comments. I'll show you exactly how you get that done. But geotagging is the process of when you make a post, you tag yourself in a in your town. So if I'm in, let's say, Dallas, Texas, I could make a post on Instagram and put Dallas, Texas and use the hashtag Dallas, Texas, maybe accounting, Dallas, Texas um, uh, law firm or whatever. Like you can absolutely do that. So definitely geotagging. Uh, target them daily nowadays you got facebook ads nowadays so um pixels you could boost your posts so like if you're not into advertising i know i'm not an advertising head like i don't sit around trying to run ads all day and focused on my business i know that the easiest way to run ads is essentially through um just boosting your posts you make a post on your facebook page and then you boost it it's like five bucks and you could target people locally in your town make things a little easier on yourself Share your story. Um, of course, you can share your story and, and uh, with your current customers and clients and things like that locally, and that definitely gets the word out. Hold a special event, okay? Giving away food, free food and drinks. Again, I know that a lot of us are in the digital world, but these are things that local, but your local potential prospects and your current clients can be doing right now like giving away free donuts, free coffee, something to keep people engaged, keep them coming back. Um, getting reviews as well. Getting reviews is another one, right? And in essence, what does that do? Think about it. When you get reviews, you're, you're not only is it boosting your confidence, but when anyone else, like any referrals, any potential customers, anyone come your way, they like to work with people who, who they can have confidence in, people that they feel like, man, like, this guy has good reviews, I wanna work with him, boom. You make that process easier. When you don't have reviews, it's kinda of like everything you're doing is in silence. It's, you're not speaking anything, there's nothing that you can do. So people usually like to do their, their, their homework before they work with you, so definitely keep that in mind. Um, win over local bloggers and journalists, you can absolutely do that. Um, influencers, journalists, bloggers in your area, invite them to an event a product review, you know, there's a lot that you can do there. If you have, if you need advice on that area, definitely let me know in the comments. That's what I'm around for. Um, targeted emails, you guys know how to target emails, right? You guys know how to formulate emails and send them out. Well, make sure you tailor them right for your local town and local area. So everything is nice, clean, cut, and simple, okay? Um, consider running a, a coupon deal, like maybe something like Groupon or um there's a bunch of platforms out there where you could give away coupons but groupon stands out the most because it's the one that people are using nowadays and people are usually in certain areas they're searching local um local deals and stuff like that so definitely keep that all in mind offer free consultations that's something that i do 
um, through my consulting, through uh, coaching. I give free advice to share my knowledge, to share what I know with others. And if they'd like to work with me further, then we can work further. If not, then hey, that's their call. I'm just, I'm not, I'm not into, you know, any other stuff. You know what I mean? Like, this is all about me trying to share what I know with others. And you can do the same exact thing. Um, advertising local newspapers, of course. I get a lot. Like, every time I go in my mailbox, I'm always getting these local magazines in certain towns. Like, I was out in Cedar Hill, Texas, and you would get these local newspapers just for that local town. That's an excellent way to get potential business. And, and tons more. Believe it or not, even some of the people in these local towns don't know anything about this stuff. They don't know anything about it, so they end up lost. Um, get yourself on local TV, all right? So there's definitely ways that you can advertise yourself, your stuff on TV and get your stuff on the TV. If that's what you want to do, you can absolutely do that. And of course, partnering up with other businesses. I know I kind of uh, just ran through this. I definitely want to hear your feedback on it. Definitely drop a comment down below, take advantage of this doc. Again, you'll access it down in the description down below. Keep in mind of these dates and time, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Sunday. Don't forget we got the base group as well. Um, that's pretty much it. This is 20 ways, 20 local marketing strategies you can use to just continue to enhance what you're currently doing. And this is stuff that your current clients and prospects could be doing right now to further expand their businesses okay so my name is guillermo mata thank you so much for coming out don't forget hit that thumbs up drop a comment down below i'll speak to you soon take care